oil prices would go in the next six months to a year from a $65 a barrel to $150 and then as high as $200 a barrel. Uh, Brent crude's now at $122 today. Gold going towards all-time high. Headline Bloomberg Financial. Gold advances to record for second day. Silver at 31-year high. We're going to be breaking that down as well. Uh, I want to continue now with some of your phone calls here. With Jason in Florida. Jason, thanks for holding her on the air. Hi, Alex. Uh, keep up the uh, good work. I appreciate everything you're doing. But uh, I have a couple questions, actually. Um, I'm in the military, and uh, I keep trying to tell these guys about uh, radiation poisoning and everything like that because we're actually um, a squadron, our sister squadron has gone to Japan, and everyone thinks it's a joke. With all this radiation, really, the aircraft like, carriers ran out of the area, and they've been evacuating U.S. troops all the way to the south. I mean, that's been on record for two weeks, but your guys think it's a joke? Yeah, everyone, everyone, they're laughing about it, saying, oh, radiation, that, that, that's not going to affect us. And I keep, you know, keep telling them, but... I'm you know, my grandfather uh, it's, it used Cooper Tox on his cows so flies wouldn't bite them. And my dad would say when he was a little kid, he said, Daddy, this has cyanide in it. It has a skull and crossbones. It says you got to wear a mask and wash yourself after. Daddy, don't breathe that. And he'd say, Son, I'm, I'm tough. And, you know, he was a you know, you know, rough uh, outdoorsman guy. He said, I'll be fine. And, of course, it gave him bone cancer and lung cancer. But so young guys think they're bulletproof. Yeah, I don't know. I was wondering, um, I'm, I've been trying to look on Google and everything like that, because you said uh, the state's been putting out radiation levels, and I haven't found anything on Florida. Do you know anything, if they're finding radiation? No, I've, 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 I've seen it in more than 20 states, uh, Massachusetts, California, Nevada. Uh, just put the name of your Florida, Florida reports minuscule or low-level increase. That's usually the spin. I haven't seen them report that in Florida, but I've seen it. In more than 20 states, just minor footnotes that, oh, by the way, there's some increased radiation. It's safe. And now that it's going up to levels that aren't safe, according to their old measurement, they just say, well, we're raising what's safe then. So, uh, I mean, if the government comes out and says cyanide's safe to eat, I, I wouldn't eat it. See what I'm saying? Yeah, because, yeah, um, well, it's just, it's just really frustrating, Alex, because I'm trying to, you know, open these guys' eyes up because it's uh, actually... You know, talk about the tough guy thing. Um, when I was talking about Libya and all the things that were going on in Libya, and I was actually showing these guys reports directly from, you know, MSNBC, CNN, and all this stuff about, you know, them using DU bombs and everything like that. And everyone's calling me, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm scared. You know, I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm, you know, I'm a hippie. I'm against, you know, the military. I'm not a hard ass. You know, all that, all that good stuff like that. And they don't understand that we're taking over a sovereign nation, and they just think, you know, it's another. You know, these are bad guys, and we must, you know, kill them all. And if, you, if you're not with that, you're against us. Well, I remember in the last few weeks seeing a lot of former military people on the news saying it's a bad idea and hearing current military calling in saying that the mission's not defined and, and that they're backing al-Qaeda, and that's wrong. And a lot of congressmen and people have talked about it. Uh, even the Secretary of Defense three weeks ago said he didn't think it was a very good idea. So, sounds like some of the guys in your, you say in your squadron, are you in the Air Force? Uh, no, sir, I'm in the uh, Navy. Okay, but uh, so so they're not concerned. Well, I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I always thought it was important and intelligent to be concerned and to weigh things and to discuss things. It doesn't mean you don't follow orders as long as they're lawful orders. But to, but to talk about radiation concerns doesn't mean you're a wimp. I um, mean, that's, that's bizarre. But uh, unfortunately, they'll find out. People think they can smoke a pack of cigarettes a day and get away with it. And on average, take about 20 years off your life. I mean, just, yeah, it, just, it just shows people think they're bulletproof. But let me tell you, time has a way of showing folks that they weren't bulletproof. And it's just, it's, that's the foolishness of youth. A lot of good things come with youth, but also a lot of bad things. Alex told you the government announced recently that the recession is over. It ended on June of 2009. The millions of Americans unable to find work might not agree. Perhaps the recession ended for the bankers and government employees, but for the rest of us, things seem to be getting worse. Gold and silver haven't heard the news either. They've begun their long expected journey to the moon. In addition to converting your shrinking dollars into gold and silver, you should consider a food savings account from eFoods Direct. They both make fabulous investments. 
Food is our greatest dependency, and we know it will be more precious than any financial resource. You and your family need food to survive a crisis, and you can't eat paper, stocks, or metals. Alex has been urging you to invest in delicious, easy-fix meals to enjoy now or save for long-term. This will freeze the cost of your food while you can still afford it. Visit eFoodsDirect.com on the Internet or call 800-409-5633. That's eFoodsDirect.com or 800-409-5633. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hello friends, this is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Calbin 5 Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct, shipped via UPS right to your door. Check them out on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091. Take my word for it, once you've used pure soap, you won't buy anything else. Since 1947, Calbin Soap Company has been showing consumers that soap can be tough on dirt and gentle on the environment. Buy American and stay clean, as well as support InfoWars. Visit 5starsoap.com today or call 1-800-340-7091. Well, Marty, what do you have to say? As founder and owner for over 63 years, satisfaction is guaranteed or double your dirt back. Call us at 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog or visit our website, 5starsoap.com. Thank you. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. For the next hour, Pastor Lindsey Williams is our guest. In fact, five minutes into the next hour, we're going to open the phones up. I know we have callers that were previously holding. But if you, I'm sorry we didn't get to all of you, but if uh, you have a question for Lindsey Williams about the Middle East, about commodity and oil prices increasing, you're welcome to stay. If not, I'd ask you to please disconnect so others can call in at 1-800-259-9231. Then you'll be welcome to call back in in the third hour when we have open phones for everybody and go through a lot of important news. Pastor Lindsey Williams, going back uh, three years ago, Plus, said oil will go from $60 a barrel to $150 in the next six months. Everybody laughed at him but me. It went up to $150. Then he said, now it's going to go down to $40. Everybody laughed again. It went down to $40, exactly as he said, on the exact same time frame. Uh, and he then said two years ago, he said, enjoy yourself. It's going to stay at $60 or thereabouts for two years. Uh, but then when it starts going back up, uh, it will then race up to 150 or higher, perhaps 200. Now, he wasn't looking into tea leaves or runes or a crystal ball at a roadside gypsy shack. Uh, he wasn't consulting the Easter Bunny or doing seances. Uh, he worked as the head chaplain. That's a key position just like in Congress or just like on an aircraft carrier. The chaplain's the only person that can walk in and talk to the admiral or the captain whenever they want. And it's a liaison to the, to the men throughout history. He was out there running his own charter company of aircraft on the side, preaching. They liked him, brought him up to the, you know, what they called the uh, Atlantic Richfield Hilton, their own, you know, private uh, hotel for the elites, put him in there for years. And he became the chaplain and sat in on inner oil company board meetings as the liaison to the work crews because he decreased the prostitution, the alcoholism, the fighting, and he, he, he was their guy. 
And he wrote a book, The Energy Non-Crisis, how there was more oil in Alaska discovered than Saudi Arabia and how they wouldn't release it. And now that's been declassified. When he wrote it back in the 1980s, he was laughed at. Uh, but it's all confirmed now. Um, he wrote about the deal they'd done with the Arabs to have them invest uh, all of their, uh, most of their money in T-bills. And in turn, the U.S. would keep most of the oil out of the Gulf and out of uh, Alaska and Prudhoe Bay off the market. And they've done that with regulators. That's why the, the big oil companies fund all the big environmental groups and then gripe and say they won't let us drill. They're, they're the ones that work for them. That's just their shill, their foil, their minion, their front. And uh, AP sued in 2000. And in 2001, just like Bloomberg sued and got the Federal Reserve documents that most of the trillions went to foreign banks and to private corporations. Same thing. AP sued. We wrote big articles about it at the time. And then again in 2006 when more came out, that the oil companies got together in 95 and 96, the Big Ten at meetings. And that there's the minutes of the meetings, and we link to those in the articles. And AP, again, are the ones that got them. And it was how they met and said there's too much oil. We've already shut down most of the fields in, in areas we don't control uh, using government. Um, to create artificial scarcity. We need to buy up all of the existing refineries that we don't own and shut them down and not expand our refineries. That's how we're going to create our artificial bottleneck. So there's another confirmed how they're doing it. The oil companies don't want you to get the oil. Just like diamonds are only semi-precious, but they're geographically located. So the De Beers is able on record to shut them down and have a 90 plus percent diamond monopoly. So a diamond that should cost $5, they lay on the ground in Africa. Uh, you know, cost $10,000. Uh, on the scale, they're semi-precious. It's a giant scam. Same thing with oil. And Lindsey then came on here six months ago, October 22nd, and he said, and I'm just building this up so new listeners understand why this is important, and Ken Fromm ha uh, was, was uh, nearing death, uh, and so he went ahead and revealed Ken Fromm because then he was allowed to. And then Ken Fromm did die in December of cancer, long battle. Ken Fromm was the operations director at number two Atlantic Richfield, but not his main source, just one of his big ones. The other guy is the former CEO of a big three. I'm, we are, I know his name, not allowed to say. And uh, obviously it's a source. That's how the media works. I get emails going, well, why can't you tell us? Well, that's how, when, when, when Homeland Security people, Federal marshals send me internal documents, how Homeland Security is really for the American people, and it goes into 500 newspapers the next day, and then they're saying, tell us your source. Uh, they would be fired if I told you the source. That's how media works. It's called sources. Now, this other source we can't reveal. We have revealed the other one because he's, he's dead now. Um, they both told him in October because he talked to Fromm, and then he called the other guy, and he said, yeah, that's right, and let me tell you more. You're going to see destabilization. He said, war? He said, no. Crises in the Middle East. That's going to run oil up. We're behind it to 150. Then we're going to use that to decouple the dollar and to start the slide of the dollar. The Arabs will be double-crossed because they've invested in the dollar. And then we'll open up drilling all over North America. But that'll take years to go online. In that interim, oil will go to 150 to 200. Well, Reuters yesterday uh, reports... Saudi Arabian government and others are saying 200 to $300 a barrel. Brent crude's 122 today. That's Reuters. Gold hits new record. Brent oil above 122. And everything Lindsay said happened. Uh, Lindsay Williams, uh, my friend, uh, good to have you here with us. And you've got more intel uh, for us now today from your source. And so we're very pleased to have you. Alex Jones, I want to congratulate you for being such a brave talk show host to allow me to appear on InfoWars over the years and say such daily unbelievable things that my latest friends have told me. I admire you more than you can possibly imagine. There were other talk show hosts that wouldn't even allow me on the air. Many of them laughed at me. You took me on as a friend, and I just say congratulations because every single thing that they said has taken place exactly like they said. You know, I mentioned to your audience back about two years ago where the price of gold and silver was going. Do you realize that it cost as much today to mail an ounce of silver, a silver dollar, as it did to buy it in 1960? Alex, you to be congratulated. I, I, I just sit back here amazed and am always considered such a privilege to be on InfoWars. 
Well, Lindsay, you've got the floor.